Timmy and Lumos were enjoying their buffet at the student center of the University of Darakatazava. In the dessert corner, they found a type of cherry cake that was fragrant and tasty. Timmy and Lumos really enjoyed it. And that made the chef so happy. You also like the cherry cake? It is also popular on Earth? Yes, we also like fruit cakes, answered Timmy. Well done. Can you help me calculate the number of cakes that remain after the sale? If you get the correct number, I can give you the remaining cakes as gifts. The chef smiled and challenged Timmy. The chef told Timmy the bakery of the student center baked 475 cakes on that day, and they were selling cakes in a serving of half dozen, six pieces. The chef would like to know how many servings of cakes they sold on that day and how many cakes would remain on that day. To find these numbers, we need to find the quotient and remainder in equation 475 divided by 6. Here, the number of servings of cakes is the quotient, while the number of cakes remaining is the remainder. The number left over after division when the dividend does not divide exactly by the divisor. Then we will do the long division as we have done before. By placing the dividend and divisor in the division symbol, we first do an estimation of the multiplication of 6, the closest to 475. Then bring down the subtraction between 475 and multiplication of divisor and partial quotients. We will find the final quotient is 79 when we get to the place of ones. However, by multiplying the quotient and divisor, we will find there is still one remained. This is exactly the remainder, known as the result of dividend subtracting multiplication of divisor and quotient. So, we can say the bakery sold 79 servings of cakes, and they had one cake remaining. Hey guys, did you help Timmy get his cake?